What up y'all, it's your boy Prone to Ride and welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time here, thank you guys so much for coming. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button below and hit that bell icon so you can receive notifications of when the dope content drops. And today is the last installment of a walk in two worlds, disability lifestyle and sport. Life has been really, really crazy and I have been super, super busy. And I'll bring more on that later in the next vlog. But for now, please enjoy this great video. And please make sure you leave a comment below about your thoughts and ideas because I love your comments. Always, 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 hey, keep charging for your dreams and goals. Since before 2016, playing sports with a disability was an all or nothing proposition. You either made it to Team USA or there was nothing, at least in my mind, because I couldn't find anything. And I searched and I dug and I searched and I dug and searched and I dug and I found nothing. So you either are elite and you got to compete at the elite level or you ain't got to, that's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure, right? <clears throat> Since 2016, things have gotten a lot better and it's growing and it's exploding and I'm happy about that. But up until that point, just from my perspective and my perception, it was all or nothing. It was an all or nothing proposition. That's sad, right? How many of you guys would be sad if you were in that position? Only half of you raise your hands. What is going on here? Oh my goodness. The outside support system for athletes with disabilities or adaptive athletes is non existent. When you leave, your USA team camp, you get three weeks of teamwork and that's about it. Everything else, 99% of your work is done on your own. How many of you in here are college athletes or used to be college athletes? Okay, for you guys, didn't you guys have plans, schedules, training regimens, things like that? You guys had a support system, right? Right? Yes. There we go. We don't have that. 99% of what I've accomplished in athletics has been on my own time. I had to go to the fields on my own by myself. I had to practice by myself. Didn't really have a lot of coaches, didn't really have a lot of help. But it didn't matter because I wanted to play, right? Because playing is all it matters. But that requires an immense amount of self-discipline and routine schedule. Am I right, Casey? You have to be on the next level because no one's going to hold you accountable except yourself. And your coaches at the Paralympic team, they may hold you accountable, but they don't see you. They only see you for three weeks, and that's it. That's a three weeks of supercharged stress because you want to make it. And then I found surfing. Now, you guys might be thinking, why surfing, Jacob? Like, holy shit, that's. One of the most dangerous sports in the world. It actually is, it's ranked like top three. It's top three. It's nuts. It is very difficult. But it's also really, really awesome and amazing. For me, it represents balance. Balance and everything. Power versus grace. Art and science. It's the combination of everything. It brings my life into complete balance. I used to be a power athlete, as you guys can tell, because I played football, wrestling, as you can tell, I had a lot of energy, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. But it's also, a, it's also a state of grace. You have to be completely calm, completely centered in those moments. I'll talk more about that in a second. The other reason why I loved it so much was because I found a community. I found a family. I found people that loved me for me. And they loved the way I sent it. Now, I'm considered to be one of the hardest charging servers in the world. I'm ranked in the top 10 in the world. Think about that for a second. I travel around the world now, doing that. I mean, look at that picture, isn't that awesome? Look at my face, I'm like, oh my God, I don't wanna die! <laughs> Then I looked up and I was like, oh shit, boom! But it was beautiful. 
It's my family, it's my community. And as you guys can tell from my earlier slides, community was what got me to this point. The eighth grade wrestling team, I remember those guys. They accepted me. Those few pinpoint people in my life supported me, gave me a little bit, a little kernel of encouragement. They made me feel like I was a part of something. And man, I ate that kernel up. It must have felt like a giant king-sized meal. And now, it's come back to me to I can't thank them enough. So if you guys are watching this, thank you very much. You made my life amazing. Oh yeah, by the way, I have a YouTube vlog, so y'all are YouTube <laughs> Last but not least, I picked serving because it represented the greatest opponent. Who wants to guess who the greatest opponent is? Damn, that was good. That's really good. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not expecting It wasn't the ocean, it was actually myself. There is fear. There is definite fear out there. How many of you guys have surfed? How many in here have surfed? All you all, uh, so I want to go surfing with you all. <laughs> so, you guys know what I'm talking about. When that wave is seven foot, eight foot, nine foot, ten foot, you're in the back portion of your mind, your subconscious is going, oh, sh that is a big one. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen, but you know what? Send it! That's exactly what I do. I actually scream in my head, send it! And I sometimes say it out loud just to kind of let me know what's up. You're laughing, but it's true. You, you can't really understand it until you're there, but there's fear because. You have to decide for yourself, do you want that jubilation? Are you willing to risk it? No risk it, no biscuit, right? No risk it, no biscuit, right? I want the biscuit! I want the biscuit! I like the biscuit. But you have to decide within yourself whether you want it or not. And that is really the story of my life. Do I want it or not? And what would you guys say? Do you want it or not? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's why you're all in this room, right? Do you think I want it? Yes. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to leave you guys with this last question, or this last statement, and then maybe it'll inspire some questions. But I am currently in the biggest slump of my career right now. Since October of 2018, I have been in a major slump. But I'm coming out of it. And to all those who are listening, y'all better watch out. <laughs> I'm figuring it out, and I'm coming for you. <laughs> so, maybe that'll inspire some questions. I expect a lot of hands after this presentation.